awkward running. Sir, I am dedicated, have studied, and consistently display conduct becoming of a ranger, sir. Uh, I can't fucking understand this kid. Why is he calling him Saw? Sir, sir, yes, sir. You were not advanced to ranger. I was not advanced to ranger, sir. Making your son call you sir is so douchey. Why do they have these sheets tied up everywhere in the future? Is that the style or some sort of high-tech way to reduce noise or temperature? I think it looks stupid. Anyways, this shot has 16 sheets in it, plus there were three in the kid's bedroom. This guy lost his leg and gets a hovering wheelchair. This future tech is very selective. Why don't they just give him a stilt or even a high-tech robot leg? Okay, the town even has metal sheets on it. Sheet city, sheet, sheet city. I'm reading Moby Dick. Random. Also, Cypher has this flexible iPad with holograms. Starting to think that guy who got the wheelchair kinda got screwed. Okay, another sheet door and now we have broom curtains. The future looks weird. More sheets. And Ursa? Taking it to feed us. Wait, Cypher brought his son on a ship with an Ursa? Their most feared enemy? As if a kid on a mission wasn't dangerous enough. What the fuck? Why is he putting his ring on the wall? That's your cerebral cortex. Looking for an answer it doesn't have. I can't understand anyone in this fucking movie. Warning, this planet has been declared unfit for human habitation. Under penalty of law, do not attempt to land. You'd think such an important alert would be a little bigger than a small red button that the pilots didn't notice, by the way. So wait, Cypher flew that way, then two seconds later someone flies the other way? I think that wall should have just sealed over that body. This kid really likes pushing dead bodies around. You are going to retrieve that beacon, or we are going to die. No pressure or anything. You have air filtration inhalers. You have six vials. That should be 20 to 24 hours each. That's more than enough. Pointless time constraint created by the breathing vials. Again, the future tech is being selective and super convenient to the plot. Like, how can Cypher watch and monitor the kid's every move with drones and hologram monitors, but they don't even have enough air for his trip? Everything on this planet has evolved to kill humans. How could everything on this planet evolve to kill humans if there are no humans there? Do you know where we are? This is Earth. What a twist. My body feels heavier. Very good. Earth's gravitational pull is different than at home. Gravity is stronger, but he could still climb this wall in the next scene. Okay, I hate this kid's suit. It looks way too I'm trying to look futuristic. Those birds don't seem to be evolved to kill humans. They just flew right past him. Unnecessary hologram label on a painkiller. A oh boy I know had this. Okay, we get it. There's a Moby Dick thing going on in this movie. Water is their weakness cliche. How many times is this kid gonna pass out in this movie? What is it with the cases in the future? First the homie beacon breaking in its case and now the oxygen inhalers break? Well, at least the time constraint is getting shorter and the plot more intense. I see his pincer through my shoulder and I decide I don't want that in there anymore. You know Will Smith is really at his best when he is a character with no emotions or humor. Hell, let's not even have him move. Put Will in a chair the whole movie. This does not look like a safe way to lay down with your cutlass. If the blades accidentally shot out, they would cut this kid's face and dick. No, Dad! Squeaky voice! Everything is weak to water in this movie, except Katai. That's the third time he's passed out. I'm sorry, it's Katai. Shit breaks a lot in this movie. Jerking off. Passed out again, but I think he's sleeping. I memorized some of Moby Dick. Ugh, more Moby Dick. We get it, you're highbrow. Holy crap, he passed out again. Shocking. Heh. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, that bird saved him. That's sweet. But it doesn't really seem like he evolved to kill humans. Sweet, the sheets are back. I miss them. Oh, the dad likes passing out too. I see where Katai gets it from. Wait, I just noticed. Katai looks like a girl in his flashbacks. Crappy CGI monster. Directed by M. Night Shyamalan. Now that's a twist. <coughs> Show. Final Frontier. 
These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise.